Hi guys. Oh. Just get my matcha. <laughs> Hi guys. So today I wanted to talk about manifestation and affirmations and law of attraction basically there's a whole law of attraction so i thought i'll come to you when i'm having my iced matcha latte for breakfast um i have already eaten it's just like an addition um i love food too much but basically i thought i would go through my manifestation journal um that i've only started doing recently and sort of share what brought me into law of attraction and interested me in it. Um, the reason why I chose to do this video is because an, a surprising amount of you believe in law of attraction from the Instagram poll that I did. If you're not following me on Instagram, it's at my kipping, um, which is most of my platforms anyway, is my kipping, she just my name. I thought I would dive in a bit and share with you what I do for manifestation and law of attraction in my everyday day. <laughs> I started doing affirmations two years ago, three, I feel like it's longer ago. My friend Chloe, um, Chloe is a great friend, I've known her for a long time now, um, but she got me into the law of attraction in general. I think it's quite hard to feel positive about yourself, um, especially in today's reality um, with social media, etc. So, so affirmations are basically how I used to do it is I used to stand in front of a mirror and <laughs> look it at myself, like into my eyes and say, at first I didn't believe them but the more you do it the more you believe what you're saying um, and the better you feel for it so like I didn't feel positively towards the way I looked um, I felt like I wanted straight hair and that there were so many girls that were prettier than me um, and yeah just a lot of things I didn't really I always been funny about bod my body image and um, so in the mirror I would look in the mirror and she stare at myself and go I am beautiful I am intelligent I have beautiful hair I have long hair um, I'm different I'm loved I'm loving etc etc so I would say things that I would want to believe are true at first I didn't believe them um, as much obviously to some extent but the more I said it to myself in the mirror the more I started to believe it and the better I felt about myself and it feels really stupid at first I'm not gonna lie most of the time you end up laughing at yourself which is already positive but um like in terms of you're smiling anyway because you're sort of like if anyone caught me doing this it's a little bit ridiculous but um it definitely helped me like be able to look in the mirror and actually be happy with what I was the, like my reflection and um, so I started doing it recently through writing it down and um, so writing down like I'm happy I'm positive I'm loved I'm hard-working I'm intelligent and um, loads of different things but it has to be in the present moment that you are saying them it's not I will be or I must be it's you are in this present moment and it makes you believe that in this present moment that's that's who you are um whether it's true or not um well whether you perceive it as being true or not uh with certain things if it's like career based you may not be there yet but that doesn't mean that you say it as a future tense it should be the present um so yeah, that's affirmations and oh, manifestation is sort of where it gets really interesting. So manifestation is basically that you picture 
your life where you want it to be. So I'm going to share one of my life goals because, and it's what, if you do know me, you would have heard me say it, especially recently, especially this year. Um, but my main life goal is to be a mum. <laughs> um, it seems like a weird goal, I guess, to have when you're 21. But yeah, my goal is to have a family, be a mum. Um, and that includes, obviously, along with that is to have a loving relationship and a healthy a healthy relationship and a loving partner. Um, but yeah, that, so that's my main goal. So what I manifest on a day to day is like, I will put up pictures. I have a vision board, um, which has different images that I associate with what I want in my life. So whether it's traveling, whether it's like pictures of pregnancy or couple photos or like a house, um, and most of them are off Pinterest because it's the easiest place to find stuff and I feel like there's a certain aesthetic there that you can find something, um, some images quite interesting, like I personally, because there aren't many images that I've found anyway um, of like a mixed race pregnant woman um, or a, relationship, a mixed relationship because I don't know who my partner's gonna end up being. I'm bisexual, so it could be a feet, like it could be a woman, it could be a man, I don't know. Um, so some of the pictures I like to leave a bit more ambiguous in the morning, because you're supposed to do it when you're in between, basically in between a dream and reality state. So in the morning I wake up, I do my yoga, and then I sit down with my, well I lie down with my manifestation book and the first thing that you write down um, is that I've written on repeat is I can attract anything into my life if I build the images, uh, if I build the image I will be provided with the means to make it real what I give my energy and attention to must come into my life through unbreakable law of attraction so you write that at the start um, also, I do it late at night and just as I'm getting sleepy before I go to bed, I then do my manifestation again. Um, so in the morning and at night, basically, when you're, because your brain doesn't know if you associate feelings and images, they don't know what is reality and what you are creating um, because it's all in your mind. I associate the picture with how I will be a mother at some point and I write down how I feel with a baby inside me even though there isn't a baby inside me um and how I feel with my partner and etc as if it's as if it's happening like right now um and you use that because it's then creating in your mind that reality and so you are asking the universe to bring it into your reality um I understand if you don't believe this that's absolutely fine and I would love to hear your opinions below um, whether you do or don't believe this but I personally have had experience before yes yeah, so I've got a picture of myself when I was modelling as well um, so I'll write down about my career I've written down about my career but I put like I've dotted and I do my affirmations in here as I said but I've dotted around like some um, different images on different pages so that sometimes I don't want to manifest a certain thing so I'll just switch to another page and write something that I feel in that moment but it's best to write down like what you can smell, what you can see, what you can feel because it's more intense and it makes it seem like more of a reality than just saying that you have it. Um, because then you're not really inviting it into your world, um, into your life from the universe by just saying, I have, I have a mansion. It's like, well, how did you get it? When did you achieve it? What's inside? How does that make you feel? What do you see? What do you smell when you're inside the house? Because that's, that's the whole point of manifestation. 
what are you going to lose realistically a, a little bit of time that you're writing down how you'd feel if something's in your life um and also I think it's great because it also narrows down what you do want in your life like I think especially over this year a lot has happened with covid and lockdown etc and black lives matter and everything um that it's really made me think more about what I want in my life um more so than I have before and you sort of work out like your life goals there's obviously more than one you I mean unless you have just one but there's usually more than one and then it's sort of like this year has made me prioritize certain things because some I want more than others um so manifestation has really helped me with that because it sort of narrows down what I actually want um and can help me sort of know why why I want that and how I'd feel if I had that and whether I would put that on pause for a bit or whether I'd want it sooner rather than later etc but I would love to know if you guys have a manifestation journal if you have a vision board if you have watched The Secret because that's a great or read it even it's a great book and a great film um or documentary um if you have watched tony robbins as well he's amazing i definitely recommend him um but i would just love to hear what your thoughts are of law of attraction and manifestation as well but yeah so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more from me or more like this please subscribe and let me know in the comments below and if you don't already follow me on instagram go ahead and follow me on Instagram because I post more on there than anywhere else and I hope you have a good day, evening, morning, night, whatever it is. Thanks guys, bye!